Hello friends, I'm Christopher and welcome to the beginning of a multi-part series where we completely renovate our master bedroom. This is a project that we've been looking forward to for a while. Interestingly enough, <coughs> our master bedroom was the first project that we did when we bought our house. I think it was the month after moving in, in 2013, we bought the house in May, and I think we did this either the last week of May or the first week of June. Uh, this room was beige walls. It had a border around the top, I think with birdhouses or something. Um, so we, you know, we painted the room, we got rid of the border, we uh, had the room replastered, did some nice renovation work, and we went with this kind of, let's call it a teal, to match this bedspread. This was one of our first purchases and we got the paint to match the spread. And it was really exciting for us. It was a nice uh, energetic room. We liked the color. Uh, it, it, you know, it's personality for us, all that kind of stuff. And fast forward now, almost eight years, we're ready for something different. We're in our early 30s. Um, we're looking for something a little bit more refined and we're ready to replace the furniture. And it's one of these projects that it's just, it makes sense to be all encompassing of everything in the room, not just a new bed, not just some new wardrobe, but you know, new paint, refinishing hardware, uh, new layout, that kind of stuff. So today I just wanted to show you around the space and talk about some of the project, individual project videos that will probably be coming in this playlist. As we move along, this will be a whole playlist. You can check out descriptions, um, video descriptions down below, and links to the playlist, all of that jazz. Uh, let's talk about the furniture. This is my dresser. It's been in my family since my mother, I believe, graduated from high school in the 70s. Uh, that became mine when I was a kid and I've had it ever since. I like this a lot. It is solid wood. Uh, everything is actually real wood. There's no particle board. There are no stupid little Ikea fasteners on the inside. It is wood. It is dovetails for sliding drawers. Um, the dovetail in this case is on the bottom and there's a piece right here that slides along and it's beautiful. We're going to keep this but it'll be moved into another room and it will be passed on to our daughter. So it stays in the family, goes on to the next generation. Very exciting. This is my wife's end table. I always thought it was a cool looking piece. Um, it is not solid wood. It's particle with an overlay, uh, glass top. I always thought the glass top was kind of nice. Anybody who has real wood furniture knows there are there's concerns about putting wet things down and getting a water ring around that. You don't have to worry about that with glass. Um, anyways, you can see it's, I mean, it's, it's a not a solid piece of wood material. A good table. Um, we, I think, are keeping this. We might move this into the guest room. Otherwise, it'll be donated. I, th I think we're going to keep it. Anyways, I don't know. We're still deciding some of these things. Um, as we replace her end table and my end table, I will be making new matching end tables. This is my end table. Uh, just like my dresser, this belonged to my mother. This was made by a neighbor of hers. He was a professor and he did woodworking as a hobby. Kind of like me. Um, in this mid-century style with a nice sliding drawer here. It's dovetailed on the side. Beautiful. I do need to restore the top. This is a matching piece with a uh, desk that we have as a changing table right now in our nursery. This will be kept and passed on to our daughter and I will refinish it eventually. But again, we'll have these matching nightstands that I'm going to be building in their place. This is my wife's uh, set of dressers, one, two, three, in a similar fashion to her end table that we just saw. This is not real wood. It's particle board that's covered. You can kind of tell by the construction. Um, I don't know if it's Ikea or Crate and Barrel or what. We will be either moving this to the other room or getting rid of it. Haven't decided entirely. In place of this, I'm going to build a wardrobe, a standing wardrobe, the door that opens up, something nice and tall, great storage. 
Uh, we have a couple closets around the house in different rooms up here where we each have clothes in. And as we have more kids, kids will grow up, they'll be in those rooms, they'll have clothes of their own. We need to downsize some of our clothes and consolidate them all into one spot. So that's where the idea of the wardrobe is coming from. I believe I'm also making a chest of drawers to replace the one that I'm uh, giving to my daughter that was mine and my mother's before that. Uh, we're still working on what designs those are going to look like, what wood types, what finish. It's a really fun process. Um, and I'm sure there'll be more furniture in here too, but I thought it was important to show you what we have in here before we get rid of it. Two things. This is a fainting couch. I always called it the Cleopatra chair growing up. Reminded me of those things that Queen Cleopatra would lay on in the old movies. Um, I don't know if we're keeping it or not. If we keep it, we want it recovered because it definitely won't fit the style. Um, or else we might get a different piece of furniture. And this is the first piece of furniture, accent, that is meant specifically for our redesign. This is a fiddle leaf fig that I got for my wife for her birthday. Um, the way we're going to be redoing this room, all of the walls will be white, in the trim, just like the ceiling. And then this back wall here is going to be an accent wall, a uh, darker green, essentially. Think of it as a version of like a hunter green or a forest green. Uh, we have, we've got a couple samples that we'll be testing out. Um, so the colors in here will be the white, the dark green, and then browns. Nice brown with the new solid wood furniture that I'm building. Greens and browns with the foliage. Obviously we'll have the fiddle leaf fig. This can grow up to essentially the height of the ceiling. Maybe a great big um, tall fern or something in the other corner. Either way, um, it'll be a nice green peaceful space. This is kind of a tough shot to frame, but you see we've got one, two, three, four doors. Behind door number one is our master bathroom. We're not going to be working on that in this whole renovation right now, so it's a little bit out of scope. In the future, I'll probably be doing some uh, new painting in there and some different hardware, but again, that's not for now. Here we have my closet, my wife's closet, and door number four is the door leading out into the hallway. But I wanted to show you the inside of my closet, and we'll have some close-up footage here um, just to talk about that. There's a little bit of wallpaper left over underneath um, this piece of trim at about the five foot mark. I'll be stripping the wallpaper. There are some cracks that need to be fixed. I'll be plastering those and repainting the inside of this wall with a sanded texture because it's textured uh, plaster underneath there right now. So that'll fix the cracks, get rid of the wallpaper, and that's gonna be all white. There won't be any dark green in there like on the back accent wall. Um, I may put some totes or do some small um, organizing things on the, in here, on the inside here, but that's the extent of it for the closets. That being said, my first step in this whole big grand project is hardware restoration. We've got beautiful old hinges and knobs um, and other accessories here that have been painted over or sloppily gotten things globbed on them from previous owners. I'm going to be, uh, without taking them off, I'm going to be stripping the faces of them and polishing them as clean as I can get. Um, and then once that's all dry, I'll be taping over them severely as we repaint. All of the trim on the inside and the outside of the doors is going to be painted the nice, plain, satin white as the walls are going to be painted. I'll show you that at a different angle. When we moved in, I don't believe that we painted the doors or the trim. I think we just taped around them and painted. And you can see here, here's some paint drippage from when we did the ceiling. So all the doors and things are going to be fixed. And as I zoom out just a little bit, you can see why it's important to be redoing these hinges. Here we've got a whole schmear of paint as someone probably just did this with a roller. It's one of these things that we've kind of just lived with, but it's been driving me nuts. So. That should look really pretty when it's stripped of this paint and restored with a nice white in front of it. But anything that's already painted, I've agreed that we can repaint it. Anything that has wood exposed, we will not be painting over. There are a bunch of little things to take care of along the way. Here we've got some holes left over from some previous uh, shades or um, curtains or whatever from the last owner. As I'm going through, I'll be puttying these in, painting over it so this kind of mark will fade away. 
I'll also be probably plastering in the cracks, or not plastering, but puttying and painting over to smooth out these imperfections. We've also got oddities like this. Uh, this is a hole with a cable running through. It's a completely dead wire, but previous owners had TV in their bedroom. We, we're not those kind of people, so I'll finally be cutting this, getting rid of it, puttying up the holes, and fixing that. So I don't just have a random cord hanging around. It's, again, it's one of these things that I could have done right away, but I was just lazy and I never did. So we lived with it for eight years. Now we're going to finally rectify that. One thing that we aren't going to do is paint the ceiling. Hope you can get a, a good view of that. Now that is the same kind of just normal satin white that we'll be doing um, with the fresh coat of paint on top of the teal and on the trim. So it should blend in just fine. It's in good condition. Uh, don't need to redo it at this point. I almost forgot to mention that we are getting a new bed. This mattress is 15, 16 years old or so, so it's, uh, it's ready to be replaced. Um, I believe, well, this is a box spring. I don't believe we're going to be getting a box spring again, uh, but I will be building a new bed frame, headboard, and a new mattress on top of it. So this profile will look very different, should be very attractive. This is a king size, we'll have another king. It'll probably be a little bit lower. New nightstands that'll match the bed. I'm not sure what kind of headboard we're doing, but that's that's the excitement of it for us. We're gonna go through all of these different things on Pinterest and, and we might even go window shopping at different furniture stores to see what kind of styles we like. And then we create it from our minds and make it happen. Probably didn't need to move the camera for this, but oh well, that's hindsight. Anyways, we'll be getting going on this project now. I think I've got some long weekends secured for the next couple of weeks, at least a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, hopefully some Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Mondays, or Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, where I get large swaths of time with our daughter being watched by grandparents or by my wife when she's home on the weekends. So my intention, hopefully, for those of you watching these live as they premiere, um, will be to have Friday videos, and the Friday videos will be compilations of all the work done the previous three or four day weekend. Makes sense? Um, and then in there should also be some potential build videos. So right away I'll be starting with stripping the, stripping those hardware and I'm getting started on taking off the wallpaper and maybe doing the inside of the closet as I move to doing the white on the outside. So there'll be like a, what did I do last weekend video? And if there's a specific topic like using Citrus Strip to restore old hardware, that might be an individual video on its own. So you have lots of nice things to look forward to. Um, I'd love to hear your suggestions for maybe room decor or questions you have about furniture. Uh, that can spark some good conversation for us. Have you done a big master bedroom uh, redesign yourself? Let me know down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful 2021 or whatever year it is when you're watching this. Take care, guys. See you again.